Hey guys, that's so much better. So let's get started. I did my brows already with the Anastasia Medium Brow Definer, and now we're moving on to the palette. And the palette I'm using today is by Deck of Scarlet. If you guys don't know what Deck of Scarlet is, and if you guys don't know what Deck of Scarlet is, I've used them before. They are a subscription company that basically every few months you get a new palette, and they collab with a YouTuber every two months, and this month is Babs Beauty. And I'm sure you guys know who that is. So this is an all-in-one palette. You get two lip colors, three eyeshadow shades, two cheek shades, and then a chubby stick. So if you're interested in getting to learn more about Deck of Scarlet, or you want to get this palette, I would definitely suggest that you click the link below. So now we're going to start the look. I use Panly Pro Longwear Paint Pot to prime my eyes. I use my finger because I love when it's fresh and new. You can just dip your finger, especially if you have nails. It's just like a great thing. I don't know. I'm using Making Mauves, and I'm putting this basically all over the lid into the crease as well. I'm using an E40 from Sigma, just going back and forth. And this is a beautiful, smoky plum color. It's like, it goes back from plum to brown. It's super interesting. But I'm going back and forth with this and just blending it out up to the crease slightly towards the brow bone. Next I'm taking Sophia and I'm using a 239 brush from MAC and I'm just patting this along the lid. I then switched to an E58 from Sigma to get a little bit more pigment out of Sophia so I just packed it on a lot more and then you can see the color is just bang in your face and I love that. So I'm putting this all over the lid, stopping at the crease and then I'm going to take Bob D and I'm going to take the E40 that I used before and just brush it into the crease and just kind of light it up a little bit. I didn't want it to look so smoky, so I just wanted to lighten it up. Now I'm taking Crystal Ball Liner from Tarte, and I'm going to put this on my lid and do a super sweet wing with this. You guys know I love the E09 brush from Sigma to do this. This is a great wing liner brush, probably one of the best ones I've used. Super easy for beginners to get a wing liner out of this, definitely. For mascara, I'm using Tarte's Tardis Mascara. Nothing has changed, you know. Just living for this mascara. And then I'm just going to go back and forth because I see a little patchiness. And I'm just going to definitely blend that out. And then to create some more dimension, I'm going to conceal my brows. This sometimes helps a lot when you feel like you just see eyeshadow go up to the brow. I feel like it kind of puts a barrier there where you feel like you have a little bit more dimension. You could see the crease clearly, you could see your brow bone clearly. It just makes the look look a lot more clean. And that is what I'm doing here. I'm just taking um, NC25 concealer from MAC and a concealer brush from Sigma. I will definitely put them all down below so you guys can check out the brushes that I used. Now to blend a little bit more of Sophia into the crease and on the lid, I'm using an E36 from Sigma to do this. I first wanted to do a light lavender look and then it turned into like a really bold purple look. I feel like I've never really done a super bold purple look, have I? I don't know, probably have. I just don't have good memory, so I don't remember. But um, I just really love Sophia and I just wanted to really make this shadow stand out because I just needed to. Right? Like, you just look at the shadow and just be like, this needs to be the center of attention. For lashes, I'm just putting on a sample pair of lashes that I got. And I'm using the Illuminating Primer. Moving on to the face, by the way. I'm using an Illuminating Primer by Cover FX. And this is great for people who have dry skin and just feel like they don't have any oil whatsoever in their skin and they just want a little bit of shine. I really love this primer. And for foundation, I'm using the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation with my favorite brush, the Sigma 3D HD Foundation Brush. Oh, the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki Foundation Brush. Sorry. Probably my favorite brush ever in the world that's ever made in life because it's just perfect for your face. It just has 
every angle in the brush that is on every part of your face. It just fits in all the crevices. I hate that word, but it just fits in all of them. So I'm just blending this all out. And then for concealer, we are using Tarte Shape Tape, as always. I just haven't found a better concealer, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to be a basic beige, and I'm going to make some hearts underneath my eyes. <laughs> I just felt like drawing, so I'm going to make some hearts under my eyes, and then put a little exclamation point on my nose, and just a little dash on my chin. So yeah, as I was saying, I really haven't found another concealer that compares to this Tarte Shape Tape. I'm sorry guys, I'm just so obsessed. I mean, it's perfect. It covers everything. Seriously. If you don't have it, get it. Now, to blend this all out, I'm using the Sigma 3D HD Blender. Probably my favorite blender right now. Haven't used my Tarte Quickie Sponge in a while, which means I might be in love. So I'm going to be using this all over the face. And if you guys didn't know, I am an affiliate of Sigma. You guys can use my code, Gianna, and you guys can get some money off. Blending out those beautiful hearts that I made on my cheeks. And I may use a lot of this product, but some of the sponge soaks up the product, so just remember that. Because some people say, why are you using so much concealer? Even though I am a concealer hog, I guess you would say. I, uh, or concealer whore. That's better. Concealer whore. I always remember that the sponge soaks up the product. So, now to set the concealer, I'm using Kat Von D's setting powder. The Locket Setting Powder in Translucent, and I'm putting this underneath my eyes, underneath my cheekbones, nose, the whole shebang. I'm actually really falling in love with the setting powder, and I definitely recommend it. One reason, because it's so fine and so amazing with coverage. Number two, because it has a lot of different shades for everyone, and that's what I love, is because I can't, I can't just use Laura Mercier for everybody. It's just, you can't. And I love that uh, Kat Von D decided to really make it for everybody, and I love that. For bronzer, I'm using a new bronzer by Becca in Epinema Sun. Oh my god, you guys. This bronzer is like putting icing on a cake. You know how smooth when you put the icing on a cake? Okay, I don't know why my analogy is so weird, but you guys know what I mean. It's so soft, it blends so beautifully. And I just love the way it bronzed me up. And there's a million shades of it. There's like, not a million, but there's like five, which is a good, decent amount of shades. So I'm putting this all over my face with the Morphe M527 brush, almost like the MAC 135, actually very similar to the MAC 135, just cheaper. And I'm putting this all over my face to bronze up. For blush, I'm using Bob D again with a um, Sigma F10. And wow, I didn't realize how much I love plum on my face. Really love it. Like, for blush, never thought I would ever use it. I thought I was just a strictly peach girl, but I loved it. I'm using Sophia and just putting it on the lower lash line. And then I'm just curling the lashes a little bit so they blend in with my natural lashes. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put on some mascara. Tarte's Tartus Lash Paint Mascara again. My favorite, forever and ever. And I'm just going to separate those lashes there. Now I'm going to be using Peachy Keen. You can wet the brush if you'd like to. I'm putting this in the inner corner with a Coastal Sense brush. And I just love the dimension that this gives the eye. I know I use dimension as a word a lot, but it really, it's an important word for the eye, I feel like. You always want to create dimension. You don't want to fall flat. So now I'm using the highlighter called Gilded. And I'm putting this all over the face because it's just so beautiful. I wet my brush with Urban Decay Setting Spray. Um, I'm using a M501 brush, my favorite highlighter brush, and I'm just highlighting the entire face with this, doing the little lips and the cheeks, and this just came out so beautiful. Now to line out my lips, I'm using the chubby stick that comes with the palette. It's called Mia, and it's a very faded plum, so I'm just lining the lips with this. Super creamy, by the way, you guys. I love their lip products. Definitely 10 out of 10 for lip products. Now to finish off the lip, I'm taking Plump, and I'm actually using a cut crease brush from Sigma, but it has great angles for the lips, so this is why I use it sometimes as a lip brush. So I'm putting that all over the lips and just blending it in with Mia, and this lip just comes out so nice, 
so creamy, so blendable. So after that, we're gonna set the face with Ready Set Radiant, the Cucumber Mint Beautiful Better Than Fix Plus Spray, I feel like, by Tarte. And that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, thumbs it up, please, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you want to know when my videos go live, since YouTube spazzes out sometimes, be sure to hit the notification bell, and you guys will know when my videos go live. Also, if you guys are interested in Deck of Scarlet, I would definitely suggest that you hit the link down below and check them out. So that is it, you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And yeah, love you guys so much. Bye.